to memorize it, also remember the, the receiving and the giving. Yeah. You know, the receiving is a debiting. If, if, if the bank receives the money, you debit the bank. Yes. And then you post it to the credit because it's the double entry system. Yeah, that is a... Yeah. <laughs> That's another one. That <laughs> yeah, but but you you see what, but what maybe it will come right with a bit more exercise. Uh, yeah, yeah, but look, you know what you mustn't you must understand that you've only done a few hours and you've probably never done bookkeeping in your life before. No. So it's not going to come to you just you know it doesn't just flow off into you know you've got to work at it. It's the same as anything. It just takes a little bit of time, but you'll be surprised just how much you know within the next two or three days. But you need to follow that 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 flow chart. You know, initially the flow chart yes. is gives you like a, a template, and then you'll start to understand the flow chart, what it's actually doing. You know, yes. with the receiving and the giving. I understand. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Prudence, I'm just gonna. I've got a blind open here, and the sun is shining right in my eyes. I'm just gonna close it quickly. Hello, everybody there? Yes, we are. Okay. Have you got any questions, perhaps? No, not at this stage from my side. Okay. And do you, you feel you're following it enough? Um, yes, it is. It's. Um, I, I've already passed, the, but I, I think I could have done with this course before the exam, so it, it is oh. helping. Oh. Not really bookkeeping orientated. Okay, okay, well, that's good. Well, look, what you know, I know that you have done the course, but what I'm going to try and still do is pull that bookkeeping that you did do into the actual, actual legal practitioners act a little bit more so that you understand why you're doing the bookkeeping more than just being able to pass the exam. You know, I, I want to try and, and uh, you know, while we go through, we, for example, now we're going to do the transfer process again this morning. And when I do that, I'm going to go refer back to the Legal Practitioners Act, and you'll see there in the Act where it stipulates what you've got to do to be able to do the transfer. Right. Uh, yeah, so it'll just, uh, you know, uh, it'll maybe just helps you a little bit here and there. But is your sound and everything all right? Oh, perfect. It's much better than yesterday. Okay. Okay. I think yesterday one of the ladies there said to me, please switch off your, your, your audio, uh, video. And I think after I switched the video off, it seemed like the sound was better. I think, I don't know, that, that you must tell me. Oh, it was still lagging a bit, but I think with the inclement weather, it might have had an influence. Uh, uh, the clearer sky, so hopefully <laughs> that, so we're all good for today. And today, are you all, those who haven't collected their documents, you're going to collect them today, is it? Yeah, those that can, I won't, will unfortunately not be able to drive through to Cape Town. I'm in Paul. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, look, I, I don't know when your next lectures are after this week. When do you need, when do you start to need those? Uh, well, On everything Friday. is electronic at the moment. So I'm uh, working uh, completely up from the electronic versions. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're right there. All right, Prudence, okay, you still there? Okay. Mr. Tukok, yes, I'm about to leave now, though. I'm, I'm just officially handing over to you. But I've, I've got one administrative issue that, I, if you can allow me, that I'd sure. like to address with the candidates. Okay, guys, I've received quite a few inquiries regarding whether these sessions that we are recording will be made available to you. I, I'd just like to address that. So the sessions are being recorded for leads, internal purposes so that we can deal with any queries that are coming from students, any complaints if they're not happy with the lecture, if the audio was not, um, presentation was not up to the standard that they actually expected it. With regards to videos, currently on ELEAD, under each and every subject, you already have um, videos that are already there for you explaining all the concepts, explaining all the subjects. So. Lead has felt that there's no need for for us to avail these videos to you 
because number one, they will be expensive for, for the candidates since if we avail them to you, they'll be a, in a format of a YouTube. But currently on eLeader, there are videos that you would be able to listen to and, and, and they explain the exact concept that the instructors are already uh, teaching to you. So I, I just wanted to address that. Thank you, Mr. Tikok. I'd like now to hand over to you. Thanks, Prudence. Okay, Thank good. Sir. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank good morning. You, you <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. Um, good, morning. After yesterday, good morning. What I want to start off with this morning. morning. Again. Hello, hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you can all hear me clearly. Um, I think you, I hope you can. Good. What I want to do, I want to start off this morning because I'm sure a number of you are a little bit concerned about the transfer process the transfer process. Remember what we've got. We've got business books and we've got trust books. So a client is in you. Let's just have a look here, for example. Yeah, if, uh, is it, uh, um, I'm, are we sharing at the moment? No, eh? I just want to share. Let me just get it here. The screen is blank. Okay, there we go. Have you got it? Yes. Yes, okay. we can see. Thank you. Good, pleasure. All right, so here we go. Let's just go back to this that we did yesterday. Let's just think, Joe is your client here, right? Joe, Joe, Joe is your client. Joe, Joe comes in the door to you and he says, listen, I want you to handle a legal matter for me. Okay. So here yeah, you, you, you say to Joe and you, well, how do you, how, in fact, you can tell me in practice how you would do it. You think about, okay, what, what do I have to do? How many hours would it take me? What will I make use of, of, of sheriffs? Will I have any disbursements, etc.? And you'll calculate roughly what you, you need from Joe to be able to handle this matter. You'll do an estimation. With your experience, you will know how much to ask him for. So you ask him here for 6,000 Rand. Now, as I just said to one of the ladies, I'm sorry, I don't know all the names. Uh, she said she was struggling. I said, and she was struggling with the business and the debits and the credits. You must please have in front of you at all times that uh, uh, flow chart. You need to have the flow chart in front of you with you all the time because you absolutely need that flow chart because it tells you exactly what you've got to do. Okay. And so let's just have a look at the flow chart again. Um, here we go. The first thing is their transaction. So Joe came in the door and he asked us to do the legal matter. You then assessed and you said, look, Joe, I need 6,000 from you. Now, in practice, what does Joe do? He gives you the 6,000. What do you do? You have to deposit that money. Now, what I want you to also go to now is also, I hope you've all got these documents with you now, the Legal Practices Act. Okay. Have you got the Legal Practices Act, everybody? I'll give you a minute just to get it out. Yes, thank you. Okay, I want you now to go to page seven. Just to show you what, and on page seven, right at the top of the page, maybe what I should do is put it on the screen as well. Maybe that'll be better. Let me just, let me just go get it here quickly. Um, it's not here. I've got to get the files, I think it is. Uh, here we go. Ah, gosh, I've got to open it here. Just give me one second. I've got it on the screen now. Let's go to page seven. Here we go, page seven, which is the top of page seven. Now, Joe, remember what I've said to you. Joe has come in and he, he asks you to do a legal matter and you assess how much money you want from him and you ask him for 6,000 rand. So he gives you the 6,000 Rand. What do you have to do? Firstly, 
you first got to decide, is this trust money or not trust money? Well, does Joe owe you, when he came in the door, does he owe you any money? No, he doesn't owe you anything. So how can it be business? It can only be business money if you have already charged him, done work, and he owes you. Then it is business. But if he owes you nothing, then it's definitely trust. That's the test to see is it trust money or is it business money. Now, Joe doesn't owe you anything. It's a brand new legal matter. 